There are some interesting uh, new courses uh, this year in the area of 100G, uh, OTN networking, and which is fully updated to take into account the latest uh, changes that the ITU has been uh, making. Uh, there is also uh, a course on uh, OFDM, which is a brand new course, which is being given by uh, one of the pioneers in this field. With short courses, we as general uh, co-chairs uh, try to do a good job in terms of streamlining uh, the entire portfolio of short courses. We offered a few new short courses that are intimately related to the topics that are hot at OFC. Coherent, OFDM, and uh, we repackage one of the short courses to talk about 100G and beyond. So if you want to learn something, please come on Sunday, Monday, and uh, visit one of the short courses. One thing I'm looking forward to is the rump session. We had a rump session last year on the capacity crunch, which was very exciting. And this year, we're going to be, uh, the, ti the title is something along the lines of, is there any optics left in optical communications? That we're, we're starting to use electronic processing to solve all these electronic problems, or optical problems. We used to have dispersion compensators, we used to have PMD compensators, we used to make special fiber to, uh, to worry about dispersion, dispersion management, and now we're using coherent uh, detection, and we can do, solve these problems in, with, computer, with algorithms. As in last year, the rump session will be held after the reception, and the last year we had standing room only. We'll try and find a bigger room to accommodate all the people. And last year we lasted a half an hour after the official closing time, and so even though people were eager to go get dinner. So I think it was an exciting time, and we're hoping to duplicate that again this year. So one of the key, key elements, it's, it's not structured, it's not planned ahead of time. And so anybody in the audience who raises their hand and manages to get called on will, can come up to, to the microphone, which I think in the, in the past year, pretty much everybody who wanted to speak could speak. Um, but of course they're limited to a very short time and very short slides. So they have to, what they're saying has to be said shortly, but their point uh, can be made. Workshops at OFC and FOEC are, are one of the exciting events. Uh, we usually start the conference off with, with those uh, sessions. What we try to do is um, have a couple of moderators organize a, a larger group of, of really high-powered people in the field uh, to come in and present um, sort of their, their opinions on things. And our goal is to really engender a discussion between the committee that's been organized and hopefully with the audience. And so what we try to do is to um, get those guys up there, have some controversy in the title, may, maybe open it with a question, um, and have them really get up there and debate and, and hopefully get the audience involved too. Uh, some of the some of the workshops that uh, we're talking about this year, the 100 gigabit Ethernet, uh, there's still a question of how is 100 gigabit Ethernet going to be implemented. Um, the, the goal is to use some sort of um, spectrally efficient formats, and so people are looking at time division multiplexing approaches um, or trying to ch put that whole amount of data into one channel. And so there's a lot of debate that can happen there. The, the one terabit uh, per second gigabit Ethernet approach um, is is something that isn't even well formulated yet and so there's a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities for uh, discussions about how how to achieve such a capacity